Welcome back to the Komodo Islands. In the last video, we showed you the snorkeling in Kanawa Island. Now, we're headed over to Koabe Island for sunset with the famous giant flying foxes. After spending the night, we will continue our voyage on to Padar Island to summit the mountain and see one of the most spectacular views in all of Indonesia. We got a late start today, so we're heading over to see a really unique type of animal. It's called a flying fox, and apparently it's just like the biggest freaking bat you've ever seen in your life. There's thousands of them. Hopefully that's cool. Let's find out. As we slowly crept towards our destination, the crew prepared a simple dinner. Vegetables, chicken, rice, tofu, and other basic Indonesian staples. It was so impressive to see them cook on such a tiny little stove on the back of the boat. Five o'clock hit, it was time for a quick beer. Cheers. Aside from a couple of military boats and other tourists, we were all alone out there. But it was a beautiful sunset. A lone eagle, one of the most massive I've ever seen, followed us for many miles. Finally, we arrived at our destination, Palau Koabe, just in time for sunset and the flying of the foxes. The next morning, we woke just off the north shore of Rinka Island to the most spectacular sunrise. Good morning. Did you see the other side? We are just finishing our traverse of Rinka Island. Rinka Island is roughly the same size as Komodo. Rinka was still closed due to COVID-19, so we were not able to land. But we did watch the shore, hoping for a glimpse of a Komodo basking in the morning sun. We were not lucky this day, so we continued on. After a scary crossing in treacherous conditions, we reached our destination. That's Padar. We're heading around to the cove to land at. Padar is a small to medium-sized island, mainly famous for its extremely Instagrammable viewpoint. It does, however, host a couple of Komodo dragons, so we had to be careful and watch our surroundings. As one of the more popular destinations in the Komodo Islands, Padar is becoming a victim of mass tourism. We arrived the earliest we could in the hopes of getting up the mountain before the crowds. When we pulled into the harbor, we were not surprised to see that we were not alone. <laughs> this will be interesting. Thanks guys, see you in a bit. Okay, here's the new pier at Padar Island. Let's go pay the fees and go on this trek. Good morning, bro. Uh, ben. Ben. Hey, like, uh, eight hundred forty for four of you. So two, two ten. That's just for this island, or that's for? No, with Komodo and later in Komodo, you just pay for the ranger only. Okay. There's some deer here on the beach. Thanks, brother. We will meet here. Yeah, I will be here. Okay. Have fun, guys. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry. Good morning.
So it's 800 steps to the top. We're almost there. Let's see how long it took. So it's taken us only about less than 15 minutes, just a couple of very short breaks. The main reason that most people come to Padar is this view. It's perfect for selfies. The island has a number of beautiful peninsulas that create dramatic views. But if you continue farther up the main trail, you can also get a very beautiful view that is not as well known. Palau Batubila, just off the southern coast. So after the Instagram point, the trail gets definitely more natural. We're still not at the very top though. All right, so now that we're up at the next vantage point, you can see why the Instagrammers like that one. A couple of trees sort of obscure the view from up here. But we're still not at the top yet. Let's keep going. As you can see, it keeps getting even more technical. This is a nice view of that island, which we didn't get before from lower down. Yeah, but I guess in the top you can see the island behind. Look what we found up at the top here. About over a meter long. Pretty cool. I can't tell if this is the top or if that back there is the top, but we're pretty close and we only have two hours up here. Let's head back down. <laughs> So it's only 9 a.m. and you can see just how many people are up here. If you want it to yourself, you better come at sunrise. It's probably the best time. Lots of rangers up here if you run into any problems. They'll probably even help you take selfies. So if you're looking to explore the quieter side of the island, I think this spot right here near the bottom is where you should take a left. Let's go see. Now, this is not much of a trail, so you're gonna wanna watch for snakes and just generally be very careful. Beach is pretty rough, so be careful going down to it. A lot of big rocks, I think that might have been a snake right there. La 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 la, I'm gonna make some noise for animals. La 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 la. Some pretty treacherous driftwood to get over here. But now, I'm just on these big, beautiful rocks. Look at these things. It's pretty interesting. It's sort of like black sand, actually. All right, let's head back to the other side, see if we can find more hidden spots. Looks pretty darn steep up there, but there are definitely some more places you could explore. All right, here we are back to the main trail. There's a little trail going up this way, but I want to explore the beach to the left on here. Down here at the beach, you can see these large tour groups, which helps you understand why they're really trying to limit access to this park. So they got the two mangiest looking deer I've ever seen here, who apparently like coconut. He is really getting in there. So this is the beach, if you turn right where the main trail starts. I'm just gonna walk down and see what it's like. There's like almost nobody that even comes over here. All right, I'm gonna head back because our boat needs to head on to its next destination. But um, if you keep on going down this beach around these rocks, it's a very easy walk and you'll have it almost all to yourself. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful if you're planning to come and check out this beautiful island. 
If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. In the next video, we will land on Komodo Island. Is it a tourist trap or a once-in-a-lifetime trip? Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.